Welcome to the International Wrestling Association, IWA. We are the new generation. This is Hugo Sabinovich, next to my colleague, Mitch Seinfeld. We're going to bring you this hour of excitement in English. Mitch, tell the fans what they can expect during this great hour. Well, well, we're going to see some of the greatest professional athletes throughout the world today. Wrestlers from Japan, from Mexico, from Puerto Rico, from the United States. They're coming from all over the world here into the International Wrestling Association. Here in the IWA, we're doing a commentating here today in English, Spanish, Portuguese, and in Japanese. And I'd like to say hello to my friends in Czechoslovakia, Switzerland, and Germany. We're going to be doing those editions later on in the studio. Thank you, Hugo. Okay, now we're going to be talking to the Spanish commentators. Bueno, bienvenidos a Mundo Latino. De la lucha libre, vamos a presentar a los comentaristas que estarán haciendo estas transmisiones. Héctor Moyano, Joaquín Padrino, el rey de la lucha libre, Chiqui Estar, un mensaje para ese público. Gracias, Hugo. Me siento muy orgulloso de formar parte de esta nueva compañía. Como mencionaste, vamos a estar llevándoles a ustedes las incidencias de lo que suceda a toda Latinoamérica y Puerto Rico con los compañeros Joaquín Padín y Chiquistar. Joaquín. Magnífico. Bienvenidos todos al maravilloso mundo de la lucha libre. Les exhorto a que continúen con nosotros y disfruten de las múltiples emociones que les aguardamos para todos. Adelante, Chiquistar. Sí, señor. Yo soy el rey absoluto de la lucha libre, luchador profesional y manejador de luchadores. Y yo soy la persona que estaré supervisando el trabajo del señor Joaquín Padín Hijo y del señor Héctor Moyano. Y excusamos a nuestros amigos de Suiza, de Alemania y Checoslovaquia, luego harán ellos sus grabaciones eh, en otro momento dado. Vamos a llevarlos ahora al mercado de portugués. We're going to take you now to our friend of us, the Portuguese uh, translation in the, in the narration of the matches. Obrigado. Olá, Portugal. Olá, Brasil. Meu nome é Rico. Estou aquí en Puerto Rico con International Wrestling F F Association. Estamos a hacer una secuencia de luta libre. Va a ser transmitida en inglés, en español, en portugués. E em japonês. Peço desculpa porque os nossos amigos de Alemanha, Suíça e Checoslováquia não estão aqui, mas a edição vai ser feita mais tarde no estúdio. Não sei muito bem o que é que este senhor está aqui a fazer. O seu nome é Chica. Chica. Entendo muito bem o que você está dizendo, assim que por favor não se meta em problemas comigo. Este senhor é um gerente, não sei o que está aqui a fazer, mas vou passar agora o microfone aos meus colegas japoneses. はい、さて、日本のプロレスファンの皆様、待望のですね、IWA、インターナショナルレスリングアソシエーションが、ここ、プエルトリコで旗揚げいたします。どんな選手が出てくるか、全世界から出てくると思います。このテーピングはですね、アメリカをはじめ、えー、スパニッシュ、そしてプエルトリコ県内、そして我々日本からは中巻選手、そしてウィンガー選手がゲストとして出てきます。残念ながらですね、スイス、チェコスロバキア、そしてドイツの、えー、テーピングはですね、また後ほどということで、スタジオからお送りしたいと思います。それでは、第一試合、行ってみよう Welcome, fans, to the International Wrestling Association. I'm Mitch Seinfeld, and my co-host this week is a man who is no stranger to the world of professional wrestling. It's Kevin Sullivan. Kevin, welcome here to the IWA. Well, magnificent, Mitch. It's great to be here at the IWA. You know, there's a lot of things happening right now. Tell us about the first match in the ring, because this is going to be a warfare. Well, let me tell you something. The team in, our, in the purple, colorful outlets is a, is a team that's been wrestling. It's a brother tag team combination from the Dominican. They're called the Sabrosos. Well, and they're very, very agile. The background of these guys are very, very agile for huge men, Mitch. They weigh in. They're 825 pounds combined. 825 pounds is a lot of weight. They're two big men. And their tag team uh, that they'll be facing is the Commando and a man from Japan who you probably seen when you've been in Japan, because I know you've been in Japan quite a lot. It's Hatanka. I've seen him quite a bit, quite a bit, and he is a very, very good athlete. Uh, Sombreros de la Lucha have they were cut out for the Mitch because these this is a tested and true team in Japan. Well, I know, understand that they are a, a hard fighting team in Japan, but these Sabrosos brothers are no strangers. Uh, they're identical twins. One, I believe, weighs 400 pounds. The other one's 425 or somewhere how in do between. You separate? How do you know which one weighs 400, Mitch, and which one weighs 425? I have no idea, Kevin. But there you have a shoulder tackle coming down, drop down. Leapfrog by the Japanese competitor, and you see those Sabrosos taking right over on them. Fast arm drag. Look for the big tag team. Look how fat agile they are. But those Sabrosos are in control. This other tag team's got to, they really got to get their act together, this team of the Commando and Hatanka. Oh, look at that! Off the top rope. What amazes me, Mitch, is how agile these two big guys are. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And look how they keep in control. They keep the man in the corner. Fast tags. This team really knows what they're doing here. Two strong competitors. Look at the tag. 
Unbelievable. Look at these men. Every time they're coming in, they're coming in off the top rope. It's unbelievable, Kevin. But the thing that amazes me, Mitch, is that their wrestling technique is excellent. And, uh... Well, now you see a, you see a raking of the eyes here. There's Commandos trying to... He's trying to fight back over here. That's one thing I like about the IWA, the competitiveness in our in, in the matches that we see here is unbelievable it certainly is and uh what i amazes me is again how agile these big guys are but the wrestling technique the thing about being in a tag team mitch the thing that you have to do is keep your opponent in that your part of the ring right as you can see hatada is now doing that the big boys did keep it at the beginning of it the referees got the referees got to look behind them He's got to look behind him. He's got to well, see. He's got to watch blame that the double referee. team. I blame the big boy not getting out of that corner. Get out of that corner. It's that simple. If you're in a tag team match, you don't put your opponent. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Sabrosos are fighting back here. Oh, that Ataka got him over with the snap mare into a into a, a headlock over there. Look at a Sabroso. He's looking for that fan support. They're looking for the fans. The fans love the Sabrosos here in the International Wrestling Association. They they love these guys. Now look, he's got one, these Japanese wrestlers, Kevin. You know a lot about the holes that they have, and he's applying some pressure to the neck area, to the trapezius muscles. But you see that Sabroso, he's getting up. He's he's onto his knee. He's getting up. He could do. He could reach for the rope, or he could try to make a tag. I don't know. Maybe he's gonna try to fight his way out of this. There he goes. Now he's up. Tags in his brother. Whips him across the ring, drops him down. Oh, do you believe that? 400 pounds. There's the cover. Put a fork in him. Oh. Great kick out. Unbelievable. 400 pounds on top of him. Picks him up for the body slam. Oh, look at this. Oh, with the fist. Elbow top right on top of the Japanese competitor. Oh, he's in the corner. He's going for attack. Listen. Mitch, again, the weakness I've seen is they've allowed the Japanese and the Cuban connection here to be able to pull them into the corner. they got to get out of that corner. But, but the referee has got to do. He's got to get that other man back in the corner. The referee doesn't have to do anything, Mitch. It's up to you to get out of the corner, not the referee. The referee's doing as good his job as at all oh, possible. Oh, look at Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He's in the corner. The Sabrosos is in the corner. There's the referee doing his job now, Kevin. Referee has to do his job. He has to make control in that ring. He has to. There's four men, and there's only one referee. I think the referee has made control in this match. But uh, good. I don't now, think the brothers should be sucking into that. No, this the, is not. I mean, these brothers have been Look, he's them. biting him in the corner. He's biting him in the chest, Kevin. This commando is biting him. The Japanese competitor is on the top of him. They got to separate these two. They got to separate these two. It's it's not right. The Sabrosos team, they play by the rules. These other teams do not play by the rules. I don't know if you always play by the rules, but this Sabrosos team is a good team coming Mitch, in from you know the Dominican. What they say about rules? What, Kevin? They're made to be broken. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Okay, now look, you got the Japanese uh, competitor in, Hatanka. He's stepping through the ropes. Sabrosos are on the aprons. Oh, what the other Sabrosos got to do, he's got to get in and they got to make a tag. He's in the corner, whips him across the ring, comes in. Oh, the clothesline! Hatanka goes down. He's got to make a tag. Picks him up. Oh, look at the strike. Oh, my God. He's going up. He's going up to the top rope. Watch this. 400 plus pounds. Oh, with the bar, with the flying leap. One, two. Oh, the, the commando came in there to kick the guy out. Okay, now you go. Oh, Sabroso gives the commando something to fight back with. Well, I think. Oh, Mitch, I think he just knocked the commando Look, I off. I think this is top. it, Kevin. The double clothesline. Hataka down on the mat. Sabrosos could do anything they want with this guy right now. Oh, look at that. Power bomb. One, two. Oh, he kicks out. He kicked out of there. He reaches for the tag. It comes in commando three from Puerto Rico. 
Uh-oh, he wants to change the action of this. See, now he's looking for a handshake. Well, he's not looking for a handshake, Mitch. What is he looking to for? Do slow the action down, stop the momentum. It's just like in football. When a team starts driving down on you and they get into your 20-yard line, you call a timeout. It's that simple, Mitch. Oh, look at him. Sabrosa taking over on him. Sabrosa whips him across the ropes in with the big elbow. This Sabrosa's are two agile individuals. As them in a headlock, look at that. Look at the Japanese competitor coming in the ring. Look at him. Hataka's in the ring. Oh, rakes the. He's on top of him. Here comes the other Sabrosa. Now you got all four men in the ring. Well, this is what the people oh, want to see. Oh, this is what they wanted to see. Oh, they're in the corners. Oh, look at this. They're dishing out some punishment in the corner. Sabrosa's whipped. Reversal. Boom. They both men go down. Sabrosos are in control of this match at this point. Hataka thrown out of the ring. Sabroso with the slam. Picks him up by the shirt. Gives him one more. Sabroso going to the top. What is he, what's he gonna what do? What is he gonna do? What is oh, he gonna do? Certainly he's not gonna no. do himself. No! No! the Sabrosos. Kevin, I told you this was an exciting team. I didn't know they could do that moonsaw. I read about it. I've, I've, I've seen it in magazines that they've done this, but this is unbelievable. 400 plus pounds up off the top rope with the moonsaw. It is unbelievable. Unbelievable. The fans love him. Here's the replay. Wow! 400 plus pounds down on the commando. Ladies and gentlemen, here we stand with the World Tag Team Champions, the delicious ones, Los Albrosos and La Lucha Libre, right from the Dominican Republic. Gentlemen, how does it feel to be in the IWA, the tough competition right here? Well, we feel very happy to be here in IWA. Wait a minute, man. Mr. Chicken Star, this is now your interview time. I to say to the boys, would you please listen to what I have to say? Okay, boys, I got my first tag team already, and I want you guys to be my second tag team. And also, I want you guys to be under my win. What do you have to say about that? You have none to offer to us. We are already champions. We don't need you, so please get out of the interview. Please take your start. Leave the interview set. Let's go. Well, it's a hot situation here. Chicky Star wanting to sign the World Tag Team Champions. Any comments about this interference by Chicky Star? That's right. We don't need Chicky Star. We're already champions. So that's why they call us Sabroso. They come from the land of the merengue. You're going to see a lot from the World Tag Team Champions. A lot of great teams and the IWA fans. Don't miss a great action coming down your way. The Sabrosos, the delicious ones from the Dominican Republic. Stay tuned. More action yet to come. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up shortly, we believe the Perez and Crash will be taking on the Commandos. Are you ready for this big Commandos? Well, first of all, Hugo, I'd like to say hello to the IWA. And as far as the Commandos go, what you're about to see is a new looking Crash the Eliminator who's now Crash the Terminator, Puerto Rico's favorite son, Miguel Perez. You got power, you got speed, you got strength. Commandos one and two, three and four, whoever you are, we're about to rip the IWA apart. Tell me, Miguel, tell your comments about this great match coming up. Well, me siento bien contento porque estoy en la International Wrestling Association y quiero dar un saludo a toda la fanaticada y vamos a estar el Crash y este servidor frente a los comandos. Sabemos que son muy buenos, pero nosotros también somos y tenemos la agilidad y la condición y lo vamos a demostrar. Oh, Miguelito, I want to say hello to all the English-speaking fans. He's very happy to be teaming up with Crash. He knows about the commandos. They're ready. They got the youth. They got the experience, and they're ready to give them their best. So coming up, that great match against the commandos. Stay tuned with a new generation, the IWA. I'd like to welcome you to the United States. I'm all excited, and when you talk about Kevin Sullivan being around here, you never know when he's around, when he leaves. And the commandos go right on top of this tremendous team of uh, Perez here. Double team and effort here. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Crash and Perez took right over. Look at that. These commandos. A powerhouse of a team. Oh, unbelievable. Here. Unbelievable. We're talking about uh, this uh, crash has to be over 300 uh, 30 pounds. Easy. Easy. 300. Look. Whoa. Unbelievable. Fantastic. 
fantastic maneuver. Unbelievable. And oh, oh, crashed up crashed the hit him with the back of his leg, just flipped over. That's the man 300 pounds, Hugo. This is what you're going to expect in International Wrestling Association, the new generation of um, pro wrestlers. Unbelievable. There's so much action. Look at this team. Look at them. Look at per Miguelito's in the ring. Perez is out. Crash, I can't keep a control of this. Oh, the Crash commandos. is on the outside. Unbelievable. The caliber of talent here. Commandos are specialized in guerrilla warfare, but Miguelito and Crash, they were able to stop them. And, uh, and now Perez in the center of the ring is having the best of one of the commandos. Uh, is that commando number one or number two, Hugo? Yes, I believe it's commando one. And okay. we're so happy that all the fans all over the world are able to tune in and watch this great, great hour of professional Look, wrestling. Crash came right in there, Hugo. I didn't mean to cut you off, but this crash over 300 pounds. And look at the agility on the man. The new generation of professional wrestling coming down your way. And the fans are loving every bit look of at this. this fantastic team. They love this team of Miguelito and Crash. Miguelito Perez, Puerto Rico's favorite son, and Crash from Philadelphia. Yes, well, you know, Mitch, that Miguelito's father for many years with the great legend Antonino Rojas with the world tag team champions now Miguelito Perez not far behind second generation wrestler, unbelievable and his partner here crash look at the big boy look how strong he is strong tags in his partner quick look, tag look at this oh, oh, double team here here we go Whoa. Unbelievable. he got the other commando right on the forehead look Bullseye. at this Unbelievable. Look at Miguelito always keeping the man. He's in, he's always has a hold on this man, always in control of the, the competitor. And that's what makes a great professional athlete when he's able to compose himself and go right to attack his opponent. These commandos trying to fight back over here. Well, these uh, commandos are not going to be an easy team for Perez and Crash to not, get a win over. They're two big boys, these commandos. An Hugo. upset could be possible at any given time. The but commandos are also looking for a title shot. Get, the fans are getting behind Miguel. Look at that. They're, they're getting behind them. You know something, Hugo? Besides us doing the English commentating here uh, this week in the IWA, we also have a Spanish shot. And Japanese. Japanese. And Portuguese. Yes. Yes, yes. So, uh, As a matter of fact, the Japanese uh, uh, team of commentators, uh, one of them is one of the sensational mass wrestlers of Japan. So we bring in uh, action in all uh, different languages. Yes. So this is the new generation, and we're here to stay. And by what you're watching now, wrestling fans at the ring, we know and you know that we're talking about serious competition. This is competitiveness in oh. its best form. Look at that. Miguelito tagged in his partner, Crash. That commando's going to get it. Look Almost at Crash. the back of his head off. Uh, unbelievable. Look at the strength of Crash. Look at that power slam, Hugo. That Look at that power slam. In deep trouble. Crash going to the th second row. Oh, Coming down with those 300 or more pounds. Oh. Commandos. He goes for the cover. And he kicks out this. Oh, oh look at the other. His partner oh. came in there to break that count, Hugo. Mitch, I believe that they had him uh, ready for the one, two, three there, but that the interference by the other commando uh, saved them there. You know, earlier. I was saying to the fans out there that this is the International Wrestling Association. This is competitive matches at its greatest form. These matches have been put together by the matchmaking committee here in the IWA. And this committee wants competitiveness. They want to see the strong survive. Unbelievable. Look at that commando. Fakes the tag for his partner to come in. And out of nowhere, the tag was made, and now things are looking different for the team of Crash and Perez as the commandos have regained control. Crash has got to get his act together, Hugo. He's got to get to a knee. He's got to tag Miguelito. Miguelito has been rested. He is going to be the fresh man to come in there. The people are chanting for Crash. You know, Crash has been going back and forth. Not only has he wrestled, as you know, here in Puerto Rico and in the States, but he's been part of the wing promotion yes, in, in Japan. Japan. He's Unbelievable. one of the big idols there. Unbelievable. And, uh, we are so proud of the promoters of the International Wrestling Association to be able to spend the big bucks and got all these big names from Japan, the United States. How about the team coming in from Mexico? Yes. I want to know about that foreign exchange. 
That, that, that foreign that, exchange, that, there is a mysterious team there. Unbelievable. Some think that one of them is Japanese, the other one Korean. We don't know. I don't know where they're from. But, uh, Unbelievable. A lot of things are coming up, and that $10,000 challenge match on this program is going to be exciting. Uh, Those Cuban boys. Unbelievable. This guy, Ricky Santana, for this year. They tell me that they're from Little Havana yes, in they, Miami. They Florida. are <laughs> so proud of their heritage, and they are so confident that they are actually putting $10,000 that uh, the team of Magnifico and uh, Rocker are not going to be able to defeat him. Uh, it's a Mexican team facing a Cuban team. I'll tell you, $10,000. $10,000. It's a beat. Oh, uh, only in the up. IWA. Right, so that's coming up in this program. Look at and, this. Uh, now Crash whips into the oh, road. Big 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 unbelievable. Here the car is made. Here comes Perez. Can he do it, ladies and Look gentlemen? Look at this. Look at Perez. Oh, my Pick God. Pick him up. Landed right on the back of his neck. This oh, over. look at that power leg, leg drop. Perez at his best over the commando. The re referee, Heriberto Lopez here. He better check this commando. He might be out on his feet right now, which uh, could be dangerous for the commandos right now. This Perez. Per this Perez is an exciting athlete. Goes in for the tag with Crash. What's Crash going to do? Perez lets her go. Oh, oh. the clothesline. Clothesline him. One of the biggest weapons in Perez and Crash, besides uh, being two big guys, is they're able to communicate real well, and those close lines have taken them out of uh, a lot of danger during this competitive encounter with the commando. Unbelievable. Look out, Cra look out Crash. Look at, look at the intensity on this man. Whips this man across Here the corner. Crash. Oh, commando had enough. No one home. No one home stepped out of the way. Commando's trying to take over on this team. Well, the commando's not an easy team. And now oh. Crash in a world of trouble here. The commando's looking to pull a big upset here in the International Wrestling Association. The new generation. Oh, the clothesline by that commando. And now he's going on top of Perez. Perez right fighting outside. back. Perez getting it up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you got all four men in there. Four men in Perez in one corner. Oh. Can Crash do the say Yes. So oh. the team of Crash and Perez that is the best of the commando. They're, they're, they're taking those commandos right where they don't want to go. Look at this. Okay, here Perez. Throws one into the road. Cross. Side back. Oh, oh come on. Throws the other one to the other side. Another oh, back. Lies on one of the legs of his own partner. Crash throws him out. Perez in full control. What are they going to do with that commando? Now, wait a minute. The referee has to take one of these guys out. Oh, oh wait a minute. Look at this. And look at oh, this power oh. slam. Fantastic maneuver. The power slam. Very Perez just to the top. A guy of 300 and some pounds! Oh, with the elbow. the elbow! Forget it! It's all over! Unbelievable! Whoa! What an exciting match, Hugo! What an exciting match! This team of Perez and Crash they is are, unbelievable! If they, I'm talking about future World Tag Team Champions here. Sensational win over the Commandos. Hugo, Look at this, this team is here. unbelievable. Look at it! Look at that! 300 oh, plus God. pounds right on the chest. I am so happy I'm not that commando. Oh. Crash just all over the place. All right, wrestling fans, here next to us is a man from Hollywood, California. Big Mark Star, no stranger to a lot of the fans in the United States. How do you like the competition in the IWA? Well, the competition in the IWA, is, bar none, is the best in the world. I've been all over the world, and I plan on making a name for myself in this federation and making a lot of greenbacks. Well, no stranger to tough competition. We see big names here. Perez, we still see this big guy crash. Are you ready to take any of this big man? Any and all. It makes no difference to me. I'll get the job done any way I have to. Well, for all these wrestling fans that are watching you for the first time, you have also wrestled in Japan for our sister Wing Wrestling Enterprise. How does the wrestling differences here in the States from Japan? It's totally different. That's well. There's a lot of big guys here in the IWA that would like to take a shot at Big Mark Star, and I know that you're ready for them. My question is, are you ready for all the other big guys that will be coming in? I'm ready for everybody and anybody. Okay, you heard it from the big man from Hollywood, California, Mark Star. Stay tuned, wrestling fans. More action coming down your way. <laughs> Action. It's Tito Carrion here from 
Puerto Rico against big Mark Starr from Hollywood, California. Look, look at Mark Starr, 220 pounds on an ounce of fat on this on this man, Hugo, not an ounce of fat on him. Good move by Carry On here. On the oh, look Mark at Starr. Mark Starr all over him. Whips him across with the drop kick. Easy move, and he must have been up there at least 5'9 uh, when he landed those uh, drop kicks. Oh, look, carry at, on. look at this, Mark Starr whips him across the ring. Oh, going out, drops him down with that side suplex. That suplex, oh. He's bit, uh, too much confidence on the part of Mark Starr, but then again, this might be his style, so he's uh, trying to embarrass Carry On. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what this man is doing. Carry On, uh, the hometown favorite here in Puerto Rico, the IWA. Oh, you see that clothesline on him. Well, Carry On has... Uh, he should hook that leg, Hugo. A lot of problems. Not only is he uh, smaller than uh, Star, but the fact uh, of the experience, I think, that uh, favors Mark Star. Mark Star is no slouch to the world of professional wrestling. He's been a, a, a competitor. He's been all over the world. He's been in Japan. He's been all over the United States. The fans have seen Twice him on, on television. Tour and uh, was very successful on those tours. So he's out to prove himself here in the International Wrestling Association. And carry on. He better try to stop him right now before it's Oh, it Mark Starr. I don't think Mark Starr needs to bit him over there. Mark Starr is a stronger individual. There was no read for, need for that here. Mark Starr snap mares him right over there. Mark Starr on the second rope. What is he going to do? Drops that fist right to the face of Carrion. Hooks the leg. Oh, but Carrion had enough in him to kick out, Hugo. Don't forget, wrestling fans, coming up, the big $10,000 challenge tour at this exciting hour of International Wrestling Association. You'll see the Cuban boys, Ricky Santana, Fidel Sierra. They are so confident. Oh! They are putting up $10,000. That's interrupter, Hugo, Mexico but look. Look at Carrion. Look at him. The kid's got some energy left in him. Oh! oh. Star's down. He got him good. But here comes uh, Star again. Carry on. Gets whipped against the ropes. Easy duck. Oh! Power slam. One, One two. two. Oh, carry on. This kid's got a lot of energy in him. This, this hometown favorite of carry on. He's no slouch. He might be a smaller man, but he's got a lot of heart, Hugo. Look he's got a lot of heart. By Star here, just taking whatever energy Carrion had, putting him right on the canvas, and now he's getting uh, very, very confident with the fans, telling them uh, what he's doing to Carrion, how good he is. Look at, look, and you know what I like about what, what Star is doing? Carrion, you can see he's a fast wrestler, he's a fast-paced athlete. Mark Star is holding him down here. Oh, look, there's no reason for that, Mark Star. Mark Star is holding the man down. He's holding him right where he wants him. He's bringing the match to his pace. He's okay. bringing a match into his face. And what about this team? Like we said earlier, Hugo, the foreign exchange. They're coming up next. I'm dying to see them. Oh, oh look at on. Drop kick. Oh, Mark Starr, carry on, now. Trying to get a, a win here against this. Oh. Man. He telegraphed the drop kick. And Mark, this Mark Starr was able to hook onto the rope. And, and right now... Carrion's out. Oh, there. look at Mark Star. Star in another world right now. Oh. Star going to work on Carrion. Picks, Picks him, him up. Right up. On the top turnbuckle. What, what are we going to see here? Whoa. Oh, Mark Star going. Can he uh, be going for a superplex? Okay, a knuckle sandwich first. Oh, on the top. Mark Star in the top bro. Oh, oh, unbelievable. Oh, the conference. superplex. That's I don't it. believe they should allow this wrestling maneuver. Oh. In the International Wrestling Association, a win. A by big Mark Star, and he's sending a message to the competition here in the IWA. That he's Look at ready. this, Hugo. Look at wow. this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Good action in the IWA. Stay tuned. <laughs> Foreign 
Mark's change here. Look at this. Which one is Minez and which one is Ibaragi? Both beautiful, colorful suits on this team. Well, excitement at its best. We have talked to our good friend, Victor Quinones, and Beth Eddie, who have done a superb scouting report on this team. And I'm talking about great, great wrestling knowledge, a great combination of a team. And what you mentioned, Mitch, the outfit, um, the from, mysterious mask. They're Look from at the it. future. Yes. This is a futuristic team, Lugo. Unbelievable! Look at them, and look at and they are I have never seen wrestlers. Outfits with so much color, like this uh, foreign escape. Now some claim that uh, one of them are Japanese. One even said that one is uh, uh, Mexican Japanese. The other one is Korean. I, I don't know where we they're don't from. Know. Yeah, you, you know, Google. I can't even see their eyes. I, do how do they see out of those masks? Well, just the, the heat in the competition makes it hot. Now with a special design over the eyes, makes it even harder for them to see. You, I, you know, Hugo, when you wrestle a mask tag team, you don't know if they're in pain or not. You can't see their faces. Okay, the foreign exchange here, double team, that's speciality, that's their speciality. And now the Latin Sleepers, the one are getting uh, whipped now is Barbie. Now Jesse, Big Jesse comes in. The Latin Creepers from this, Jesse. Planet Love, as they want to be called. <laughs> They're going to be a little bit more of that destination to handle the foreign exchange. And don't forget, wrestling fans, coming up. $10, the big $10,000 challenge match between the Cuban boys, Santana, Sierra against the Mexican team, Magnifico, and the Rocker. Excitement at his best. Unbelievable, Hugo. And look at this foreign exchange. Look at Eric Control. Oh, oh! The three bird Jesse pulls him down by the mask, Hugo. Pulls him uh, down by the mask. Well, the foreign exchange uh, is very upset about uh, this type of attitude. Oh, look at this. Now, is this Minez or is this Ibaragi? We've got to get some notes on these gentlemen. Yes, definitely. Uh, I'm very proud to be part of this great. IWA Wrestling International, the new generation, and just to see the names that have been signed up for this oh. uh, great, great wrestling program. Let me, let me tell you something, Hugo. I, you know, we had Kevin Sullivan out here earlier during the first match. Well, I was about to come in when I saw him, and I said, wait a minute, let me stay back, because you never know what happens with this Kevin Sullivan Oh, now. Kevin Sullivan is... Uh, Look at this move. Oh, oh, this. And all oh. Oh. over the top. Oh. He makes it look easy, blocking the punch. Oh. Yells and comes in. Oh. Over the top. Oh, oh, oh my God. Fantastic. Excellent. Oh, look at that drop kick. Jackson with a drop kick. Creep it out of the ring. Here's the other one. Another oh. drop kick. Out it goes. And this is it. So far in exchange, ladies and gentlemen. What an exciting hour. Uh, what an exciting uh, uh, hour we've had so far ago. Uh, they sure oh. defy gravity. Unbelievable. The moves these guys just made. They would put a, a lot of the top teams in the IWA looking for some quick, quick answers and perhaps new methods of combination in wrestling combat. I'll tell you something, Hugo. This foreign exchange, they're in control of this contest. These Freebirds better get their act together. Oh, oh, see? Look at this. Look at this. They're breaking the rules. Unbelievable. 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 Referee's got them. This foreign exchange has got to stay in the corner so the referee can do his job. All the fans are upset about uh, the, the rule breaking abilities of this Latin Freebird. Tag is made. Here comes Barbie to the ring. He lets them have it. Oh, with that big foot in the midsection. Oh! Well, we're happy that all of our American viewers are watching this exciting hour. Oh, the high backdrop on that one, Hugo. Also, we want to tell all of our friends. Every week you're going to see a lot of exciting main events. A lot of big names have been signed. So every week, not just a lot of great wrestling action, but big names coming the down your way. stars are here in the International Wrestling Association. The stars are here. The top professional wrestlers from all over the world are here. You see the Freebirds double teaming. The foreign exchange in the corner over there. Well, the referee here, Roberto Lopez, Upset with one of the four exchange, but my question is, why can't he do the same with the Latin Freebirds? Look, they're double teaming all the time. Double Whoa. elbow. Here comes Big Jesse. Oh, with the foot. Hit him again in the, in the chest. 
Very Look aggressive. Very aggressive. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Hugo. Boy, he's changing a lot of trouble. And this, this tag team of the Freebirds are making those quick tags in the corner. That's what a tag team has got to do. I want to see these Freebirds wrestle the team of the Sobrosos. I want to see them wrestle the Sobrosos. The Sobrosos are my favorite team. Okay, let's Let see me what tell happens you something. Here. And look at this foreign exchange. <laughs> Referee again stops one of the foreign exchange. Meanwhile, the Latin Freebirds all over. The other foreign exchange. Now he's oh, hot. Oh, look at he's this. Coming out. He's fighting back. With a lot of fire. He's got him. Whips, Whips him, him across the, the ring. Here he comes. Oh, who goes? No correction. Goes again. Oh. This time, he moves out of the way. He's in the wrong corner, though. Oh. Okay, let's see what happens here. Mine is Jesse. fought back. Jesse close to his partner. Let's see if he gets the tag. Oh, the headbutt. Again on the, the outside. Referee's got to separate these two. Who Hook goes. in the trunk. Making it hard. Oh. The foreign exchange to get a tag. Referee again upset with the other foreign exchange. Meanwhile, double team effort again. And now it's Big Jesse. All delivering over. Some, uh, oh, look at that shot. Too close to another Ford exchange. Oh. These, these Latin Freebirds, they're in control right now, Hugo. They're in control of this team. Okay. He's not on the mat, Jesse. Looks very confident here. Ford exchange has got to make a tag. He's trying to get a tag now. Do you, do you think, uh, Mitch, that it's uh, harder for them to see where his partner is with that uh, design? Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at a foreign exchange had enough, had enough energy to give him a suplex. Well, it looks like he knows where his partner is. Oh, Barb the question comes is, in. can he make it before? Yes, yes, here we have a tag. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh. Tremendous switches. And there's Barb trying to fight back. Shoot. Foreign exchange is going to defend. Look at that. Right to the kick. side of the head. He took his head off. He's begging for mercy. Let him have it. Come oh, on. Come on. Take some up, Hugo. Oh, I like this point extension. Unbelievable. Team. Look at that. Oh. oh. Shot uh, Jesse, who was on the outside. Tag Legal tag. Partner. Look at these tags. That's the way I like it to be done. Legal. That's Look. the way you do things. The right way. Jesse. Fire it back. He's got the four extension against the rope. Oh, you hear that chop? Oh, oh kind of got that kick. one, Hugo. Like, I think he hurt his lower back. Oh, that last drop kick. Look at that tag. Okay, quick tag, oh. body slap. Oh, look at that, oh. that maneuver. Go for the cover. Two. He stops him That's tall. It. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just these a super team. The it's, Florida exchange. I'll tell you something, Hugo. This team is colorful. This is a team to watch here in the IWA, this Florida exchange. This is a team of the future. And you saw that the fans are very much excited. Slow-mo here. This is the beginning of the end for the Latin Freebirds. All right, wrestling fans, here we are with the Cuban Connection, Ricky Santana and Fidel Sierra. Let's talk about uh, your wrestling career and what's going on with you guys here in the IWA. You know, first of all, Hugo, I don't like to do something about it, OK? You gotta Whoa. Be, you got to be styling like me and Fidel out here. Second, I ain't here to talk about no championship. I'm here to talk about one thing, okay? I'm talking money. How much you make an hour, man? Four forty-five, maybe five dollars. Okay, I got an opportunity for any tag team in the IWA to make a thousand dollars a minute. You know what that is, man? That's a lot of money. Here's the deal, man. I got money in this bag. Whoa! I'm talking hundreds here, man. You understand hundreds? Ten thousand dollars to any tag team that can beat me and Fidel in ten minutes. You know what that T means? Ten minute time limit. Ten minute time limit. Any team, any, any team. I don't care who it is. You stack them up high, little midgets, anybody, man. We take them all on. Well, we heard it from the North American heavyweight champion Ricky Santana, Fidel Sierra. Ten thousand dollars. Any team that wants it. Here they are, the Cuban Connection. Stay tuned for more action here in the IWA. <laughs> Santana and Fidel Sierra, and these two guys are not only bad, bad guys, but they enjoy every bit of it. They these are. Two Cuban guys, Mitch, 
they love to hurt their opponents, the more pain they deliver, the more they feel happy. And for any of the American viewers that have not seen this team together, Pierre and Santana, you can expect anything from them. Well, you know what Santana told me earlier. He said, if anybody has any questions about his ability, they don't have to step in a squared circle. They can come down to Miami, and he will confront them one-on-one. -on -one. He is a tough guy, and you know what? He always has Fidel Sierra right behind him. This Sierra is a tough individual. He's what, he's what I would call the henchman of the two. Yes, his favorite uh, plate that he loves to eat is a Cuban plate that is called Ropa Vieja, and uh, Sierra likes the pork meat done uh, of course, with a lot of garlic. Look, look, at, look what's going on here. Look at Sierra taking over in Rocaro. That's the he, way these guys like to do things. Oh, he's feeding him to a pulp. Irish whip across the ropes. Rocaro with the leap oh. oh, and a drop kick. Red oh. Arm drag right kick. across. Look at this. Take it over. Two good arm drags by the Rocker. Here Santana. comes Santana. Oh, now he goes. Now, what's the matter with the Cuban guys now? Oh. Hugo, they gotta, they gotta get their act together here. Let me tell you, they make a mistake, they're gonna be short of $10,000. And maybe we could get on the party wagon with uh, Carol Magnifico. Oh, yeah. I, I, know, I know a nice nightclub around here where we could have a, uh, have a good time. Good time. <laughs> I don't want the promoter to listen to us because he might get in trouble. <laughs> We're not supposed to be on nobody's side. No, 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 no. But 10 grand would be <laughs> good. Job. Okay, Sierra back in the ring. From the reaction of our colleagues here from the different countries, the Portuguese commentators, the Japanese, and our Spanish uh, buddies, they are all very pleased with the action that we have seen on this first week. I'll tell you something, Hugo. Unbelievable. And this is just the first week. Oh. There's a lot of things that are going to be happening on the other weeks to come. Great other stars. This one. Just what big guys like the Bruce Brothers. Oh, the Bruce Brothers and Bad News Allen. He's not no to stranger. mention, not He's to mention the Prince of Darkness, Kevin Sullivan. Oh, and let me tell you something about this Ricky Santana. He is the North American champion, Hugo. He is the besides being part of this tag team combination. He does have a strap here in the IWA. He is the North American champion. Now you have Magnifico. In the ring with Santana, trading good, some holds there. Good move on that part of Santana. Oh! Tackles, that goes Magnifico, he drops out. Here comes Santana, leap run. Look, Look at this! this. Whoa. Whoa! My God! He does that to me, I'll have a heart attack in a minute. <laughs> Forget about it. Putting Sierra a number on ring. Sierra now. Elbow. Whoa! Whoa! Santana. They could beat him in the street. They could beat him in the ring. They'd rather beat him in the ring. Now there's a lot of enjoyment on the Cuban team. For a minute, the $10,000 looks like it was going to go away. Now, you got to understand one thing, Hugo. This team from Mexico brought Carol Magnifico. they got to beat these guys in the ring for the oh, 10 Oh, look grand. at this. Look at this. Oh. 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 It just makes the pressure almost triple. As he gets the best of Magnifico. Oh! Pops him right on his knee. The lower back oh. suffers in such a magnitude. Oh! But now the rocker comes in for the save. Let me tell you something, Hugo. Look at this. Look at this. They're kicking 
that poor man when he's down. They're kicking him. They're setting him up with a knee. Oh! So don't forget, wrestling fans, American viewers all over the world, just tell your friends that the International Wrestling Association is serious. Our competitive action every week, same time, with this great TV station. Same channel. And Let don't forget that something. coming up next week, you will also see the World Series Heavyweight Champion, the Southern Champion, and uh, other uh, big names. Let me tell you something, Hugo. The talent in this promotion is unbelievable. The International Wrestling Association, I'll tell you, it's the best professional wrestling I've seen in a long time. Well, wrestling needed an association like the IWA because fans love competitive action, and this is 100% Competitive action. Here we go, Magnifico oh. with a drop kick on Santana. Can he get the tag? He blocks it. He's getting close to oh. Sierra. Here he comes gets Sierra. The tag, hooking the lower oh. part of the ankle. Let me tell you something. This Sierra, strong man. He's a big man from Cuba. Picks him up. Picks him up. He's setting him up for something over here, Hugo. Okay. There's it's setting him up. Mitch Magnifico has to get a tag. So his partner, the pressure man of the two, Rock has come in. Abdominal stretch. They call it the Cobra Twister in Japan. The right. mission hole at its best here. Santana claiming victory here. The fans don't like this. The fans aren't happy. Okay. Sierra. Oh, he's trying to fight out Magnifico. Sierra's got him. Well, for a power drive. Oh, power he's driver. finding it. Ooh. Oh, oh, he's yeah, got he him. He's the tag. Santana and Santana, Santana tag. comes in. Yes. Oh, the tag. Back the tag. Back out Santana. And he's rocking Santana. Throws him into the rope. Big oh. ball oh. And down oh. goes Take Sierra. Care. And what? the rocker all over Santana. Oh, that's right. The Cuba boys in danger of losing the $10,000 oh. challenge match. Here comes Magnifico, a four-man battle oh. now. Wait a minute. Shoots him, throws him out of the ring. Okay, now Sierra. Oh. Going to pound on Magnifico on the outside. Oh. Whips him against the side of the ring. Meanwhile, Santana. Santana going, up, going up to the top now rope. Now, this is a very dangerous maneuver now. Oh. The rocker gets him high. He's going to the second row. Oh. He's aiming. Here's Ooh. Sierra! From Sierra. the back! Uh -oh. Wait a minute! What is this? Sierra gets him on his shoulder! On no. his shoulder! Oh, that's oh. it! That's it, Hugo! What a gigantic necktie! Three! That's it! For the Cuban team! They Sierra keep... and Santana have just defeated Magnifico for the Rocker! They keep the $10,000! $10, now, my question is, which team in the IAA is going to be the next? The challenge this team. Fantastic. Goes, uh, Next time. Let me tell you oh. something. In the weeks to come, this $10,000 is going to mean that much more. Wow, what an exciting hour. Here we stand with Pence and Mitch Seinfeld. You told the people and you delivered great, great program. Let me tell you something, Hugo. The action only gets better here in the IWA. Next week, two title matches. Mike Anthony, the, the junior heavyweight champion of the world, will be facing Bill Payne, and Paul Diamond, the southern heavyweight champion, is going to battle with Tampa's Lou Perez. What an exciting hour, and we'll see you next week here in the IWA. Take care, wrestling fans.